welcome to another episode of One Good Minute in the Badlands. Today we are going to talk about something that everyone asks me about and always thinks is pretty cool. And what is that? Teeth. What do you mean? We're going to go check out some ancient riverbeds and these honey holes right here in Glendive, Montana and see what's been biting and fighting here about 66 million years ago. All right, you must have been something before electricity, huh? Let's hit it. The graveyard is two blocks to the left, okay? Now check this out. The best paleontologists in the world are ants. I'm telling you, ants. I'm at an ant hill right now. They're getting scared already and I'll probably get bit within a few minutes, so I gotta hurry. Um, but if you look closely, you, oh my gosh, he's got a tooth right now. I gotta show you this. Hey, Ma! Look at that ant, he's got a tooth. Can you believe it? There's no better paleontologist than an ant. And he has got a 66 million year old, probably fish tooth, and he is dragging it probably to his own ant museum. What is this? A center for ants? <laughs> Just wow. Unbelievable. What a crazy world we live in. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, now teeth are fun because they're very identifiable. Now, look at this. I found some really cool teeth right here. I mean, I'm at the bottom of a hill. Sometimes they come out of the hill, wash out from the hill and get tumbling down. Come tumble and tumble in. Crocodile teeth. Crocodile. You can tell they're crocodile because they don't have serrated edges. Serrated edges, what is that you say? I've got something for you right here. Bam, a dromaeosaur tooth. Bam, there you have it right there. It's got serrated edges. Maybe I'll get a close up of this. But you can see serrated edges just like a steak knife because it was mean and it was ugly and it wanted to eat things. Um, and uh, that's the way I get at a steakhouse. Man, that's cool. <laughs> well, that's cool, baby. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I have got one of the coolest things right here. The king of all teeth, the mother of them all, Tyrannosaurus Rex. There's a Rex tooth right here. I'll bring the camera up a little bit closer, but uh, I don't have the whole thing with that. It's hard to find. They're usually in pieces. Maybe the rest of it is here. I doubt, but I'll, I'll look. But as of right now, Oh, really cool looking T-Rex tooth. Yeah, we cool. Wow, that was some of the coolest stuff I have seen in a long time. And speaking of prehistoric, I gotta tell you, there's another added reason for living right here in Glendive. We have prehistoric fish still breeding right here in Glendive. Wanna breed? <laughs> Tempting. But they don't really have teeth, but you can still catch them. What? And what am I talking about? Paddlefish. What is paddle fishing? I'm glad I asked. Now paddle fish is this crazy looking long billed prehistoric fish. What the hell are you? And you know I like prehistoric. You can only catch in a few places in the world and one of those places it's Glendive. And you don't even need to buy bait because you snag them with a treble hook just like this. How cool is that? And it's real easy to get your paddlefish license. Just head over to any local sporting goods store, pay $6.50 for a resident, and you are on your way. Now that is how it's done. They just told me they paddlefish all over the world, everywhere, and he just told me this place is the best on earth. So how many more reasons do you need to see why I love this place so much? You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Well, believe it or not, I'm gonna show you even more on the next episode. I'm Dino Dave, next time. Insane